Hi, my students. I'm missing you as always, and I hope you enjoyed last week's lesson on Earth Day, uh, creating sculptures outside and working with found objects in nature and creating your sculpture. I saw some really great ones uh, uploaded to my email of pictures of your work. It would, They were great. They were beautiful. They were creative. I loved them. Uh, this week, we're also going to do something a little different um, and switch things up. It's so hard to not see you and be with you to do these art projects. So we're going to try different things. And um, this lesson, uh, someone sent to me and uh, my student, my own son how to do it and I thought it was a great lesson and it learned a lot about the color wheel and about colors. So every week you come into my class and we learn uh, different elements of art. Um, you don't realize it but I'm putting in things that you don't realize you're learning about and to create art you have to learn about art and we sometimes do projects on lines which is an element of art or sometimes texture or patterns. Those are all elements of art and to understand them is to create art. Well today we are going to be doing something that's not just drawing and creating art, but we're going to do something to understand art. And we're going to talk about colors. And we've always talked about colors in not most of our projects, but we're really going to concentrate it on it this week. We talk about, and you all know about a color wheel, and I'm going to make one up here. And we talk about primary and secondary colors. And uh, whether you're in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, or third grade, you've all learned about these colors. So we always learn about, and here's a picture of a color wheel, a true color wheel with all the colors on it. And this week, we are going to talk about one that you didn't learn about on the color wheel. So we always know about our primary colors, which are red, blue, and yellow. And those are our primary colors. And those are primary colors because they're the first colors, primary meaning first. We can't make those primary colors. They have to be squirted right out of the bottle. We can't mix colors together to ever get a red or mix colors together to get a blue. But there are colors that we mix together to get another set of colors and those are called the secondary colors. Secondary meaning two. And those colors we all know about of that also. When we mix red and yellow together, we get a secondary color, orange. And when we mix yellow and blue together, we get a secondary color, and that is, you know, green. And red and blue, we get another secondary color, and you all know this too, purple. You see how my color wheel is starting to get circle like a wheel? I always set it up. It kind of looks, I think of it in shapes, and I look at it, my my primary colors are set up in a triangle and the secondary colors are kind of like an upside down triangle. But there's a lot of space in between and we get to fill that space with another set of colors. And we've never talked about this. They're called tertiary colors. Tertiary meaning third. It's a third set of colors on the color wheel. And what we're going to do is we're going to learn about these third set of colors. So it's really simple. Those third set of colors are set up and you can kind of understand them because all you have to do is mix the one next to it to get the tertiary color. So if I mix red and orange together, I'd get very simple, a red orange. If I mix the orange and yellow together, I would get a orange yellow. Yellow and green, I'd get a yellow green. Really simple. Green blue, I'd get a Blue green. Blue purple, I'd get a purple blue. And red and purple together would make a, this one isn't a great one, but it's the best I could do and find the color. You'd get a red purple. And you can see my color wheel full of colors and it looks like this one. What we're going to do this week for our projects, we're going to do make a color wheel, but we're going to make a color wheel out of found objects in your house. Well, we're going on another scavenger hunt. This time we're going around our house and we're going to find found objects, anything that represents one of these colors, a primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. And you're going to create a color wheel from found objects in your house. 
It can be dog toys. It can be a bowl. It can be a sneaker. It can be a hairbrush. It can be a marker. It can be um, a piece of paper. It could be anything you can find in your house. You go through the kitchen. You can go through your bedroom. You can go outside. Anything to make found object color wheel. You can have one thing or three things, whatever you want to represent each color. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be a perfect match, but close enough to this to create those colors. So I will attach a picture to my video of the color wheel so you can bring it around the house and try to match some colors up. I made my own found object color wheel and I'll show you a picture of what me and my son did for his art project. We found it. It's hard to see the colors good on my computer, but we found it. I'll do it a little further away, maybe better. We did use cups. We used dog toys, a, a handkerchief, nail polish, markers, dog toys. We used a lemon and a clementine. It's hard to see those colors close up with the glare, but we did right there. That is right there is some makeup box and we made it. Now you can't see those colors really good from my computer, but here is another found object color wheel that someone made. You can see they use Legos and weights. These look like spoons and shampoo and looks like some sign from outside. Sneakers, cat toy, a bag, you, anything you want to make your found object color wheel. I'm going to attach examples of the color wheel to this video and I'm also going to attach some of my examples so you can really look at it but you are going to create and you need to have at least 12 objects because there's 12 colors in the color wheel three primary three secondary and six tertiary because they go all in between they're real easy to remember because you just mix the two together mix the two together you start with primary then you go to secondary then the tertiary so you are going to have fun going on your scavenger hunt and creating. It's easy to understand this because to create art, we have to understand that art. And so this week's lesson is a little different than what we usually practice by just making art. We're going to really understand art. So I hope you have fun with this lesson. And you can upload your pictures to adowney at epsteinhillel.org. They can have your... Um, someone who's with you upload the picture so I can see all these really great color wheels you're going to make for me. Hope you have fun with this and I look forward to seeing your pictures and see you next week.